Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. Uh, in today's video, we're back here in the GT Spec Series in the GT2 cars at Yas Marina. And uh, I think we have a similar situation to yesterday's video, for those of you who saw that. Uh, we qualified on pole at Hakone, we found two people in the lobby that are way faster than everybody else, and they wound up winning and we got third. I think that's going to happen again in this race because we have X Kevlar Ed. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me. Why can't I mute this guy? Mute driver. There we go. Uh, we have X Kevlar Ed, but we also have Harmonic. And Harmonic is like insane. Like really insane. He, he will be the fastest person in this lobby. I guarantee it. He'll have the fastest time at the end of the race. And he will probably finish first. Um, so yeah. Anyway, we're in the M6, tuned by Grim Legion Gaming on YouTube, designed by Clamp God, of course. I'm gonna try the medium, medium strat. We'll see how the tire wear is. I haven't used the M6 in a minute. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hop in here and see how we do. All right, I'll also go ahead and point out that my qualifying time was not great. Normally I can get into the 154 and a halfs on soft uh, tires, somewhere around there anyway. And, uh, yeah, for whatever reason, uh, I just, despite, like, basically perfect conditions, uh, for this track and everything, I just have not been able to, uh, to put that kind of time together, you know? Alright, up here in, well, I guess I should say, we're still in first. Um, it's like we're first through fourth, they're all about the same pace down the straight. Hit the brakes a little bit later than I would have liked there. And took a little more curb than I would have liked coming out of this game. I don't know if you noticed, but my back end went flying up. And here comes Harmonic from 12th to 4th in less than a lap. Holy crap. I wish he posted more tunes, because I know that the tunes he makes are like absolutely top notch. I think he does some kind of tuning in real life too, like for real life race cars, which is probably part of why, you know, his tunes on here are so cracked. I didn't look to see what tires he's on either, I wonder if he might try like a triple soft strategy, just to like see how the pace is of the uh, M8, which is what I believe he's in. And there's Kev up into fourth. And now it's Harmonic behind us. Good grief, bro. Already. On lap two. That wasn't good. Oot. Can't 
afford any mistakes like that, dude. So I would like to try to stay in front of this guy as long as possible, so that I feel better about not being slow, but... a second. This is my full concentration mode, guys. That's why I'm not really talking. So close to draft range. Oh, this hurts. This hurts being exactly one tenth outside of draft range down the whole street. You know what's really funny though? This dude is probably on hard tires. I guess we'll know when he pits. If he pits on lap 7 or 8, then he's on mediums, but... If he pits on, you know, lap 10 or something, lap 9 or 10, then you know he's on hard tires. And who knows, maybe he pits at the end of the next lap and he's trying to do that triple soft thing. I doubt it, though.
was a good battle with Kev, but it's just helping Harmonic pull farther and farther away. I'm wondering if I should pit now and go on hards, since I'm gonna have to go on hards anyway. Um, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do an eighth lap on these tires. But I can do a seventh, so I guess we'll do that, and then, yeah, I guess at the end of the seventh lap, we'll see what they look like to see if, uh, I think I can do eight, but I am very doubtful. And if I try to do eight, then I would have to do that, uh, you know, like second stint, so that the final lap or whatever is where I lose the most time, and then hopefully I just don't get caught up to. Oh, jeez, that curb. I just lost draft range because of that. Ugh. Bad tires and slippery curbs don't make a good combo in case you were wondering. Just hit moderate. Let's see what Kev does. If Kev stays out for another lap, maybe we'll try to do one more. I just feel like it's not a great idea. Harmonic stayed out, I think. Oh jeez, oh Pete's bro. Yeah, Harmonic stayed out and Kev is staying out, so. And granted, they could be on hard tires and we're on, you know, I'm on mediums, but. Whatever. I feel like the gap to the guy behind is decent enough that. We should be able to stay in front of him till the end of the race, you know?
think Kev is also on mediums. If he was on hards, he should be faster than that, but I think he's babying his tires like we are. Trying to get to the pits. Limp there. Yeah, let's see, Harmonic was on mediums too. He's just absurd. Alright. Here we go. Mediums for the last seven laps. And we know that the final lap will be meh on the roughness scale compared to the eighth lap, which was just that hurt. Wonder how many people are staying out on hard tires. Hopefully not too many. Hopefully we don't have to bite too much traffic um, on the second stint before, you know, they pit. But maybe. Looks like I did just see one, one guy at least. Is it only the one guy? Outside of people who are like really far back there, it kind of looks like it. And look, Harmonic's already right there on top of the dude in first, who hasn't stopped. Almost a free pit stop on that guy at Yas is just... Holy crap, bro. second race in a row where third is the new first place for me dude because like in the last video uh, ESV Scottson and GT Shrek like I called it at the start of the video that they were gonna beat me and then they beat me and I got third which is the new first when you're racing guys like that same thing with Kevin Harmonic especially Harmonic I mean you guys see his pace is just absolutely freak alien level He's like an alien among aliens. You know what I'm saying? It's just nutty. I bet you he's around like a 152 or 3 on the medium tires that he's on in this race. Dang, we were up and then now we're down. We were up like a little over a tenth. We went through that stupid right-hander, which normally I like, I just haven't been able to get it right this race, and, and then lost it again. That was pretty good through there. Made up basically a whole tenth. Side, it makes it really hard to get the car stopped and turned without drifting. Turned in a little too early. You have to really slow down if you don't want the penalty system to penalize you. You know, because if you gain like a tenth, 
it'll penalize you like eight tenths or a second. If you gain like a hundredth, that's when it gives you like, you know, one second or whatever, or half a second, which is still a crazy ratio. This has been a really bad lap, dude. Really bad lap. Let's try to do better this time, because that was terrible. land again way behind the two fastest guys and a pretty decent gap to the guy behind just like I called it yesterday here we are calling it again basically having the same race just on a different track <laughs> in BMWs both times no less M8 yesterday M6 today I just haven't been able to get that right hand curve. Like, I haven't been able to nail it this whole race. It's just been really not good. Same with same with that corner. Just been bad at it.
go. Second to last lap here. Right, dude. Can't see anything. <clears throat> All right, here we go. White flag lap. Still weren't able to, uh, still wasn't able to crack into the 155s, which I would have liked to have done on, uh, on the mediums. We got really close, which isn't too, too bad. Like I said, Kev is probably in the 154s, and Harmonic is probably in the 153s. Maybe even the 152s, I don't know. I just know dude is crazy next level. Morpheus just got five seconds for an off-track penalty. Well, there you go. GG to Kev and Harmonic. Really stood no chance. Okay, so Kev was one second a lap faster on his fastest lap and half a second slower than Harmonic. Uh, and we were one and a half seconds slower than harmonic so but outside of that we did have the fastest lap we had some people quit still had 14 people finish the race which is good uh, yes we lost two spots we knew that would happen and uh, yeah basically the race went exactly how I expected it to but uh, yeah anyway hope you guys enjoyed it if you did I hope you leave it a like if you're new around here you haven't already and you enjoy this type of content i hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to catch y'all in the next one